But I always think physically bigger. So I try to stand bigger. I try to stand wider. I try to stand more firmly. And every time he moves, I want it to have a sense of purpose that he's going to do something. Because Kratos, in my mind, doesn't ever do something by happenstance. There's always a definitive objective. So that would give purpose to his movements. Just interact with each other. Almost like Kratos and Atreus interact in the game. They become buddies throughout the years and it's almost like father and son relationship is almost manifested on set the same way. I met Sonny when he was 10. So I've seen all the stages of his development. Now, in Ragnarok, he's a teenager, feeling himself, good looking young kid, and he had ideas. Like he actually was able to break down scenes and have his own ideas about them. And I remember the first time it happened, I, I just stood back like, wow, this is a whole different dude. Like this isn't, you know, that little kid that had a million distractions. This is a young man who is very intelligent, very thoughtful, because I had gone through it with my children. It was something that I had missed very much as a father, as a man, was seeing this evolution of a human being and seeing them growing into who they are going to be. That part of it for me was, was, was great. And it, it was just, it was really interesting to me to see that. Not only between Kratos and Atreus, but between Sonny and I. Kratos no longer pontificates to Atreus. He's no longer speaking to an audience that just listens. He is now having debates with rebuttals with a young man who possesses his own ideas, his own thoughts, what he perceives to be his own trajectory to get to where he needs to be. The hard part, I think, of Kratos' journey is him learning to listen. And that's what comes with having such black and white view of right and wrong. A lot of times you're not receptive to what someone is telling you about how they feel. And I think that was a huge part of Kratos' growth was him learning how to listen. Well, some of the things emotionally with Kratos are very readily accessible to me. Being a father, being willing to do whatever it takes to ensure that your children are safe. For me, the first time I inhabited the role of Kratos, I was in such splendid physical condition that I actually felt like Kratos, when I saw the rendering, I felt that I was him. I'm so excited for people to be able to continue this journey called God of War Ragnarok. My youngest son, who is one of my harshest critics, said, Daddy, uh, I didn't want it to end. Well, neither did I. I uh, missed every day that I wasn't uh, with this collaboration of folks. So if you loved God of War 2018, uh, I truly hope that you have a chance to experience Ragnarok. It's gonna blow your socks off, truly. <laughs>